proudly presented by Whitetails Unlimited, a national organization working for an American tradition. Oh, 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 oh. I'm trying to think what's the best way over there, Joshy. Yeah, I'd go up to eight. Oh wait, no, eight's closed. Eight's closed. I got you know what I gotta do? I'm gonna go down this way to ten. It's opening day, very excited. Uh, got a lot of the guys out. Right, right behind the farmhouse today, we've been seeing bucks over there. We're headed over to a uh, piece of our family ground, west of the little town called Knox, and uh, we've been seeing some big bruisers running together over there, which is uh, exciting. So, we got a beautiful gun, uh, uh, Randy Fritz from Tar Hunt. I'll tell you what, he makes one of the best uh, bolt action uh, shotguns in the industry, and I am very excited about it taking that gun to the field today. Lightfield is making a, a three inch Magnum now in 20 gauge, and I'm extremely impressed. I could put slug on top of slug at 50, and at 100, I'm very, very, very confident. So, uh, matter of fact, uh, yesterday I was shooting the bullseye out of my shooting. <laughs> so, uh, and then putting another slug right on top of the bullseye. So, I just got the butterflies. So, I'm all excited. Opening day. Trying something a little different this afternoon. We changed locations. We got a little bit further into the woods from the stand that we are on, overlooking the CRP field. <clears throat> came in and picked this cornfield. We went into the edge of the pine, set up a new location. There's a lot of sign in here. All of the tracks in here, it truly looks like a uh, kind of a deer highway. We gotta be really careful out here because the stand situation we got here is a little lower than the other stand we are in. We're probably about four or five feet lower, but we're still real safe and secure in the ladder stand here. Got our safety harnesses on. Safety first, folks. Remember that. Don't want to become a statistic. So we're going to sit here. We got about a three hour on here left out for the opening day. We'll see what it holds. Texting Big Brother Mark. See how he's doing with Jake. I guess they're not seeing much over there. We got our we got our dear mojo. There's that little one coming in. Do you see him? Little four corner. Looks like uh, twin, year and a half old bugs. Very nice looking bugs. For this piece of ground, they both look real healthy. We just need them to get a little bit bigger. But 
These are the first two deer we've seen all night, and there is a ton of sign in here. I'm positive we'll see a heck of a lot more to sit tight. Can't see him yet, Chad. Oh, okay. Here he, he's it's, coming right it's over. It's that same little one. No, no, it's not. This might be a shooter. It may be a shooter. It is. I think it is, Chad. Okay, I think it is. He's coming right in. He's coming right in. Wait, 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 wait. Great firearm. I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm absolutely digging it, buddy. My adrenaline, I'm still pumped. I'm still pumped. <laughs> this is my first white tail with this Tar Hunt. I call it my 20 gauge rifle. Uh, Randy Fritz from Tar Hunt makes a beautiful firearm. And I was very eager to get my first white tail under my belt with this firearm. I think I did it. I think I've got a nice trophy for the wall. I think I've got some good table fare. Uh, to feed everybody back at camp. What do you say, you wanna go look at him? Well, we just got down. Well, we still got a little bit of good light. I, wanna, I wanted to check this deer out for everybody here without having to put a spotlight on it. Let's go check it out. When the deer's coming through the trees like that, okay, and you're trying to gauge the size of them. Your adrenaline's going. This is what I look for. See how the antler goes past the ear. That's what I'm gauging. I want that antler to go past the ear. Okay, now he's not too tall, but if you look at, look at his face. Look how short his face is, okay? All right, and look at, look at this rack, how tall it is. This, duck, this buck is past his prime, okay? Here in Indiana, I'm gonna guess him to be Gosh, I don't even know what to guess. It's gonna be interesting to age him, but this is an old buck. This is an old deer here, past his prime. Last year, this buck probably was several inches taller. Very, very nice, nice deer. I don't know if you can tell in this light or not, but you can tell how gray his coat is here. As you saw in the film earlier, all of our younger deer 
and the deer in their prime are a real chocolate brown. Uh, they're one of my neighbors got lucky. Um, but they're a real chocolate brown. Uh, this deer is, uh, is, is real gray. Gray ghost, we would have called him. He's got some battle scars on his nose. What just a beautiful, beautiful buck. Lightfield Sabbath Slugs. Hardest hitting. Most accurate. Devastating deer performance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 